at the end of the day the strands of hair that are on our scalps and especially us black women it's totally different Don't worry what people say behind your back because God is going to bless you in front of their face. I've been thinking and thinking and I wondered what is the best way for me to end the month of August with you guys and I felt after 8 months of consecutive hair care videos the only thing that I can give you is the fact that I know I owe you the truth about natural hair care. And so in today's video, we are going to talk about the truths of natural hair care. So, truth number one. Do not expect your hair to be perfect. Your hair is not perfect. And by perfect, I mean, it's when you start comparing your hair with that of someone else that you see on YouTube. Don't compare your hair to mine. Don't compare your hair to your friends. Don't compare your hair to your sisters. Because at the end of the day, the strands of hair that are on our scalps, and especially us black women, it's totally different for everyone. And then again, remember, you don't have the same curl pattern on your hair throughout the hair. There is different curl patterns on your hair. So you do have those that are, that are tight. You do have those that are super loose. And you have others that are kinky. And you have others that you can't even tell what it is because it starts with a certain curl pattern and ends with a completely different one. So don't expect your hair to be perfect. Be happy with what God has given you. Learn to take care of what is on your head and be happy with that. Number two, we've been told that blow drying your hair heat is bad for your hair actually the truth is excessive heat is bad for your hair and by excessive i mean there is a limit to everything so if you're using heat on your hair like i do before installing most of my hairstyles and especially when i'm going to a stylist i always ensure that i use low heat using low heat ensures that your hair is dry, your hair is stretched, and your hair does not get heat damaged. But using high heat destroys your cuticles, destroys your curl pattern, and you end up with heat damage. So yes, you can still straighten your hair, use heat on your hair, and still maintain your curl pattern so long as you are using heat the right way. Are we together up to that point? So... I'm going to ask you, if you're watching this video, have you hit that subscribe button? Have you? Hit it kindly. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I don't take it for granted. I love, love, love you all. So, the other thing that hair, certain hair types don't grow. Number three, right? That's what we believe. You believe that your hair does not grow, not unless you have alopecia or a health condition your hair is always growing out of your scalp so the thing is that what is happening to you here is the fact that you're not able to retain that length that you're growing out of your hair and how much does your hair grow within a period of let's say a, m a month yes a month it's about half an inch there are others who go below to quarter an inch there's someone who will go to three quarter an inch so that is the maximum that your hair can grow in a month. Don't listen to, don't trust anyone who is going to tell you that you're going to grow five inches of hair within a month. That is not true. It's a slow but sure process. If you keep doing the right thing, keep up with the right practices, you're going to see results. Are we together? And then, number five, closely related to this one, is the fact that there is miracle products there are no miracle products to hair growth the only thing that can make you grow more hair than you actually are growing right now is pregnancy during pregnancy we women tend to have more hair growth shed less hair but now it comes both ways it's a two uh it's a two edged sword right right 
so it means that you grow a lot of hair thick hair beautiful hair during pregnancy for nine months nine to ten months and then immediately after giving birth and you start breastfeeding you might shed equally as much hair and this is the thing that you need to realize at that time when you're shedding that much hair during breastfeeding you need to be very careful to take care of your hairline better install hairstyles that are pro protective to your hairline that they conserve with the, the integrity of your hairline because if you don't you're going to lose your hairline and i have seen women really struggle with this so know this it's the truth and with that information i know that we are all smart army members and so we are going to do the necessary right and number five the truth is that there is no one size fits all when it comes to natural hair we are all different like i said so it means that there is someone who will be able to grow their hair when it's stretched in terms of straightened there's someone who will be able to grow their hair while styling it um, and it's open there's someone who will be able to grow their hair in a protective style figure out what is what works for you get a protective style and stick to that when you do that i'm going to assure you that you're going to see results okay okay so finally and finally we've come to the end of this video let me know what is one truth that you know about natural hair that i didn't mention here and that you know that is really true for you and stands true for everyone else i would love to engage in the comment section so let me know let me know your thoughts on my truths and i will see you on the next one bye guys love you army members